Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to remake old review of Frankie uh, SPS-12, which is a shotgun with dual firing mode made in Italy. So let's begin. Okay, so this is it. Let's fire it in uh, gas mode. Okay. Now in pump action. Okay, so, so, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, so, so why there's dual firing mode with Frank uh, SPS-12? From what I read, SPS-12 have dual firing mode, which is a, like a, like in a semi-auto like this, a gas, gas mode, it was used for a slug. Okay, high get a high power uh, shotgun round. Well, for the pump action, it was used for a low power uh, shotgun round, which is like a rubber round or smoke round for a crowd control. So it have like uh, for crowd control, you have a pump action for a for a CQB room clearing where you have to took down enemy. You will have a semi-auto gas-assisted shotgun. Okay, so so that's that's the function of this dual firing mode. So so as you can see here, to I'm gonna remove the handguard. Okay, slide action sleeve remove, handguard remove. Now we can see from here. Okay, I'm gonna slow it and turn it to color okay now we're in pump action now let's let's move it to uh, maybe i'll show uh, i'm gonna move it first before okay so like this okay so what happened here is okay in uh, pump action mode this uh, fire selector here holding this gas piston here okay so when the gas come in okay yeah, when the gas come in the gas piston will not move while in uh, in gas assisted mode this run piston here this pin here and the fire selector frame is uh, put forward so disengage from the gas piston here Okay, so it can fire in a semi out like that. Okay, in uh, pump action. In pump action, you can see here <coughs> the selection sleeve valve. Okay, the selection sleeve valve is rotated so the gas cannot push this gas piston back. Okay. So, so it can push and then rotate it. It cannot push. Now, when you're firing, the gas, the gas like go down into this uh, channel here, little channel here, but did not push the gas piston because there is a sleeve valve here, a valve here, okay, that prevent the gas from pushing the gas piston. Okay. Now when, uh, okay. Retracting first. Okay. Retracting. Like that. Okay, now uh, in semi auto, you, you disconnect this. Run a piston a pin here. Now, uh, now firing. So when you fire, you can see clearly from here. The, the gas channel here it will go down and push the piston when you're firing. So the gas will push this gas piston. Gas piston is connected to the, not action spring, to the cocking slide. And the cocking slide will push down the bolt or the bridge block. Like that, okay. 
So, so that's uh, the fire selector. Select the fire selector mode, like the fire mode. Okay. So that's the different. Now let's move to to the to the uh, cycle of a uh, uh, chambering, firing, and then ejection. Okay. So. So, I think uh, there will be a uh, not much different if we fire this from a pump action or a gas mode, because uh, basically we only see the cocking slight move. So I'm gonna fire it from a, a, a gas mode. So let's fire it. Okay, I'm gonna fire it without uh, without intervention. So I'm firing. Pull the trigger. Hammer down. So this is gas assisted. Okay. So semi auto. Okay, uh, before we continue, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not. If you do, thank you very much. Uh, welcome back. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested to become a member to support the channel, uh, you can check out our uh, membership page or uh, click join. When you visit the channel, there's a join button near the subscribe button. If you click it, uh, it will show you with the, uh, with the tier of uh, subscription. Okay, where you can choose, there is a tier 1, tier 2, tier, tier 3 that will give you a, an option. So you can also you can check the description of the perks to understand better about the perks. So yeah, check it out if you're interested. Now let's go back to the video. Welcome back everyone. Uh, let's continue. Where are we? Okay, firing the trigger. Okay. So, so you can see here. Let's see it from this side. So this is auto safety lever. I'm gonna remove that and that. Okay, so when you fire, just like that, you pull the trigger, the trigger lever will push the sear. So you can see here, it's pushing the, the sear. So the sear is, okay, I'm gonna remove this part here so you can see. So the sear is engaging the hammer. So when you pull the sear, not pull, you push the sear, the sear away and it will disengage the, the hammer. The hammer will go down and hit in the firing pin. Okay, when you hit the firing pin, you can see, of course, hitting the primer. And then the, the the gas pushing back the cocking slide and the gas piston. Okay. Pushing it back. Pushing it like that. So so if you uh, firing happen, the gas push it back like. Okay, right here. So as you can see, this bridge at the barrel extension, the locking block is a like a. I'm sorry. It's like the the bridge block slide. So when you when when you in uh, in battery, ready to fire, the the locking block is sitting on top of the bridge block slide. And then when the cycle happen, uh, like that, and get the firing happen, the bridge block slide will go back and then uh, engage the locking block, pulling it down to unlock the the bridge block from the barrel extension to allow it to unlock and then extract extract the round out. Okay. 
So if you wondering, there's this is ejector pin. The ejector pin will kick this empty shell out like that. So as you can see here, firing the gas proof the, the gas piston and the block slide. The block slide engage the locking block to unlock to unlock the the bridge block from the barrel extension and then like this okay i'm gonna show it back again let's go back So the camera is uh, engaging the set here. Now it's engaged. Now it's ready for firing again. Okay. We have one round left. So I'm gonna now uh, we already see the fire select fire fire selection mode. Now uh, like uh, the chamber the firing and then extraction. Now, uh, let's see the round feeding mechanism. Okay, so this this is a like like a like normal shotgun. So you can see, uh, I'm gonna we cannot reload. Okay, I'm gonna fire it. Now, I'm gonna reload first. Okay, I'm gonna show the the, the bolt hole to open kind of thing after. We see the feeding mechanism here. So, so uh, when you fire it here, okay. You see, right there. So let me like let me explain it right here. If you see from this side, you fire it, the gas is pushing back the bridge block slide okay so you can see here the bridge block latch okay there is a cutout here in the bridge block slide here when this uh, bridge block slide went over this bridge block okay and then when it go back okay it will there is a cutout here that will push down this bridge block latch bridge bolt latch okay so we'll push it down so the the shell is sitting right here okay it's, it's ready sitting right there and then this bridge block slide will push this bolt latch down like push it down and the carrier will go up to ready the round and then the bridge block will push it around into the chamber a lock and ready to fire so simple like that so that's the feeding mechanism uh, how the how the shells stay in the tubes magazine tubes okay it was from this side okay uh, from here so you can see here, you can see this part here, this magazine shell latch was uh, tip, tip, tip to the side by the cocking slide. So you can see the cocking slide go back and push this magazine shell latch into the side. Okay, when it push it into the side, you can see this shell was free to move, to move back into the carrier, ready to be chambered. So like that. Okay. So simple like that. You can see. Okay. That, so that's the feeding mechanism right there. So I'm gonna fire it all until one round, and then we. Can see this. 8 round, the last round. 
just like usual. Okay, firing. Let's like uh, the bridge block go back. Okay. So like right here, there is no shell, but the magazine, uh, not the, the the follower. Okay. okay so why why this? Why this uh this carrier? did not go up or the bridge block stop right here well there is a like kind of like a magazine stop here which is a carrier carrier latch okay so the base of this shell here is pushing again this against this uh, carrier latch spring here so when when you fire it will go uh, tilt it like a little, tilt a little, like the carrier latch will tilt like out outside the the carrier to allow it to go up like that to push a new round okay. like that again and then again until we see the follower. You see, like uh, like right here, the 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 magazine la magazine lash shell lash latch is is holding the shell into the in inside the magazine tube, while this carrier latch spring is is uh, being pushed by the by the shell to stay in the position like that. But when the But when the uh, the round is outside, and then we have follower here. Okay. The 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 carrier latch spring, and the this uh, magazine shell latch did not engage the base of the shell, like shell of the like the round, like this this round. So this is like empty spaces. So you can see they're not touching anything. Okay. So when they're not touching anything, this carrier latch here uh, like will not let the you see. I'm gonna show it like right here. So there is a shell in the magazine tube, and when you're firing right here. Now there is there's no shell or anything. Okay. Okay. Like that. Okay, I'm I'm not firing yet. Okay. So when you fire the last run. Okay. The carrier, the carrier did not go up because it was held by this part here, carrier ledge here. You see, it's holding it right there. Now, when you reload, you can see. You can see a. Uh, you press this button you see so there's no run in the chamber here you can see you press this carrier latch button here to let the carrier go up like that not not to let the carrier go up but to let this bridge block to go home okay and then you you put the run okay so like that press this one notice one this button 
to release the bridge block and the cocking cocking slide. Okay, release now reloading just like that. Okay. Okay, so simple like that. So I'm gonna fire it. Like that. Reloading, press the button. Okay. So that's Xbox 12. Oh yeah, safety. We always forget safety. Okay, so. the safety safety pin here will not allow that because there is no spaces to move safety on yeah, safety off oh yes yeah. space to move sorry from this side so we can see okay from this side safety on you cannot move safety off cannot can move okay so that's safety what what else uh, what else what else what else uh, i guess that's it so let's see this let's try to unload so unloading is simple like that okay 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 wait wait wait, wait. so if if you in uh, pump action okay so pump action like this you have one run left what happened when you okay so let's see it in slow mo the track now firing so there is there's no round in the in the chamber right and the and the carrier latch is holding this carrier. So what happened? Did you press the button or did you just pump it? Okay, so let's see. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you press the button in pump action? Oh yeah, we press the button, same thing. So in gas mode or pump action mode, you still have to press the button to allow this carrier to, to move freely because if you do not press the button, like you cannot reload, right? So you have to press the button. So because you reload from below, like any other shotgun, you, you reload by like this, okay? So if carrier cannot move, you cannot reload so you have to press the button to release the carrier okay so like that okay so that's spam action you, you still have to manually press this button to reload so that's safety and what else left oh yeah so this hook right here basically uh, this hook allow you to fire from one hand Okay, so hook rotation, left, so you fire with the right hand, this is gonna hook into your, like a bicep, maybe, yeah, bicep, okay, behind, like behind your bicep, and uh, hook rotation left, your left hand, uh, neutral, right here. Or if you want to remove the hook, the hook, just like that. If you want to remove the the stock, you can, or keep the stock but folding this, but fold uh, keep the stock but uh, fold it like that. Okay. Wait. So if you fold the stock, what? You cannot see anything. 
Yeah. <laughs> How you see? You cannot see anything. What if you remove the stock? So it become uh, like this without stock. I'm going to check when Benelli M4 was created. Okay, Benelli M4 was created in 1999. Uh, no, no, designed in 19, 1998. While this was created in 1979. So this is older. So this this space 12 is older than Benelli M4. So I guess that's it uh, for video. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video, which is I'm going to remake old, old, re, uh, old uh, review that doesn't have comment on it. So, so yeah, bye-bye.